Hi everyone, Zach here, and welcome to lesson 51 in this series on developing a survival game. In this video, we will set up water sounds to play around the island. In particular, this will be the sound of waves hitting the shore. Now, I realize this does not directly relate to foliage, but it was the most accessible or easiest place for me to slot this video into for this series. This series and this video have been brought to you by my Patreon sponsors. And with that said, open up your projects and let's make a start. Hi everyone, welcome back to the editor. And between this video and the last one, I've gone through and I've updated my spawning volumes. All our spawning volumes now will spawn in two sets of herbs, the mediums and the smalls. The larges don't actually spawn in well because of the rotation on them. They don't align to normals. I would use the procedural generators from Epic for that one if you wanted to have them procedurally generate in. However, I have decided to uh, do them by hand and painted them in. I have also updated the trees just slightly, so there's a little bit more trees. Um, and I've added leaves, which are really kind of hard to see, but there is one right there. And I use the procedural generators from Epic to do our leaves. This video is going to be a little bit shorter than the other ones. I figured you need a break from the long videos we've been doing. And then this one, we're going to add in our audio. So I'm just going to minimize these folders. And our audio we're adding is our environmental. So if you go to your assets, you have environmental, we have our water sound. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to go to my audio folder here. I'm going to create a new folder called water. And I'm going to open that up. And I'm just going to drag in my WAV file from the folder. And we have our water sound. So if I hit play, you can hear what it sounds like. All right. So for this, what we're going to do is first we're going to create a sound attenuation module for it. So I go to sounds, sound attenuation, and this will be SA Beach Front. Go ahead and pop that open. I'm really getting annoyed it's opening in the other window. Again, we're going to use natural sound. We'll use negative 60 decibels. This one will set to 4,200 by 6200 and again we'll do visibility everything in here will remain the same we can go ahead and save that and close it out and next we will create our sound cue so sound sound cue and it will be beach front all right again open in the wrong window but eh, i can just bring it over we will set our sound attenuation to our beach front there there should be no other changes we have in this one we will then do our continuous modulator so we can have some variety on our sound a little bit so continuous modulator and on this one what we're going to do is wave what we're doing so wave and then the top one is pitch pitch modulator and same for this one will be our wave and it'll be volume and we'll leave all the settings as is we will however i'm a little bit annoyed that's not lining up and i q key doesn't work for this one apparently we will do a modulator and for our modulator, what we'll do is our pitch min will be 0.75 and our pitch or volume min will be 0.75 as well. And then we can just unpin this for a moment, drop that into there, come back in here and pin that into our modulator. The one key thing for this to work properly is this needs to be a looping sound. Go ahead and save that and we can play the cue. All right. A prep for our our beachfront is done. I'm just going to save everything real quick just so I have that added in. And I'm going to go to the start of my island here. And I'm just going to drop this onto the map. Now, there are things I did to figure out where to place them. So I'm just going to show you really roughly what I did. You can see we have the volume sort of attenuation, how far out the sound will go. As it fades out, how far it will be for how loud it gets as that inner circle. So what I wanted to do was move this to position it kind of in a spot where I knew the sound would travel a fair distance. So I'm going to move it to the right a bit. Get this right about uh, a little bit farther to the right. 
right there. And in terms of the height, well, we do have to worry about the height of, actually, I'll do the height in a moment. The height's fine. We want it right at negative 750. As for our, how forward we want this, I want this a bit farther back and I'm going to go to about 8,300, sorry, a bit farther forward. Um, so we want this to travel farther into the island. I don't know why I said back. I wasn't paying attention to what I was saying. So about mm, a little bit farther forward. So I'm going to hold the alt key down and I'm dragging the wrong direction. So I'm going to redo that. Sorry, I'm going to put this where I had it a moment ago, which was 6910, I believe. And then for the Y, I do want this farther forward around about, say there-ish, right about there. So I'm just looking at the lines on the sound attenuation as I move it. So that's the first one. And I'm going to create a folder to put these in really quickly. So I'm going to just create a new folder called sounds. And I'm gonna disable this one, zero, zero. And I'm gonna put this into my sounds folder. All right, with that done, I'm gonna then hold my alt key down and move this over to the other side of our beach front here. So you notice the sound kind of fades out right around there. So I'm gonna hold my alt key and I'm just gonna drag this all the way over. Notice this change it to zero, zero, two. And I'm gonna about want this around, oh, say, trying to get those to line up just a little bit better. Not overlapping too much. I'm gonna want it about there. For my distance, uh, I'm gonna actually want to move this one a bit around. Let me just take a look at where that line is. And I'm gonna move this one closer to the island. It's a little too close. I'm gonna hold my control key down and I'm gonna figure out why it keeps moving in the wrong direction when I hold my alt key down. There we go. I'm just gonna move closer. I can see the line right in the corner of my screen. Hold my control key down and I'm gonna be very careful about how I move this because it's not giving me the choices I want. You know what, that's about fair enough. I'm gonna leave it at negative 750. And then I'm going to go to the far side of my island. So if I just pull back a little bit here, my next sort of beach front I'm gonna care about is over here. So I'm just going to duplicate it by holding the Alt key and dragging it over there. And again, notice it's changed the number. I guess it shouldn't be zero, zero, it should just be zero. I'm gonna now select this again. And I am going to move it to roughly, um, let's get in front of the, the island spot first where I want it. I want it to cover both sides of this beach. I'm gonna move it towards that rock face there. All right, with it positioned there, I'm going to just mess with this a bit. It's a little bit off from where I want it. I want it around probably, probably somewhere around this area. Yeah, that's about fair enough for the, the Y. As for the X, well, I want it a bit closer to the island. Say, a little bit further back. Say about there-ish. Uh, maybe a little bit further back. I'm going to hold the control key down. And you know what? That's fi uh, fine enough. So the next spot I need to move to is over in this area. And I'm going to move into this sort of cavernous spot in that area. I'm going to hold my alt key down. I'm just going to drag this over. So this is zero three and I went way too far. So I'm just going to bring this back over this way. Um, about there-ish, I guess. Say, uh, hang on. It's a, let me move this further back so I can see what I'm looking at. Let me move this out into the water. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to want this around ooh, a little bit farther over this way, I think. Not too much. About there. That should cover between the two shores pretty nicely. And the Y. As for the Z, well, it's a little too far back, so I'm going to move it forward. This would be so much easier just to do by hand instead of just me just get in a little bit closer because I'm going to look at the edges over here and I'm going to hold the control key down as I move it. I want it closer, much closer, too close. That's about good. I'm going to move it a little bit further back actually. About there. That is fine. So it's about a lot of these, it's about a lot of fine adjustments. Now that we've done that one, we have to go to the back side of the island and our next one is a bit farther away. 
So if we go over here, and I'm going to turn off the uh, lighting because we don't have um, good lighting on just yet. I'm going to go into this area. So I'm just going to hold my Alt key down, grab this one, and move it over here. I put them in the folder first so they stay organized in the folder. And this one, well, let's just move it this way for a moment. Going around, but oh, that's actually about quite where I want it on the Y. That's not bad. Um, let me just move it a little bit closer. So I'm going to hold the Y down, and then I'm going to click and drag it forward. Unfortunately, I unclicked on it, and then I will move it forward. So let's just move this a bit closer to the island. I'm going to hold that down, and then my Alt key a little bit further away, actually. Sorry, I can't see what I'm doing. Now I can. Again, I'm going to hold that down, and that's good. Uh, let's see, which way do I want to move this? I want it more on the center bit of this, so I'm going to go to the right just a fair amount. You know what? I actually am going to go back this way. I want it to be about there-ish. All right, that covers what I'm looking to do for that one. And then if we look at the island, the next one we're going to have to do is on the back end, as it were, of the island. Make any joke you want from that, I guess. So let's come around and just hold the Alt key down and drag 0, 5 over this way, or 5 this way. And we're going to put it over in this little alcove in our water here. I'm going to need to move this back just a little bit more nearly there. I'm going to hold the control key down at this point. And actually, you know what? I'm happy with it there. For our Y, let's move it over to the right a uh, little bit. About there so it's all this is is figuring out where you want those circles to really lie on your island that is the majority of what we're doing again we're gonna hold the alt key down and this time we're gonna go over this way get that little alcove on the uh wave front there on the beach front there and i'm gonna move this to just a little bit more to the right or to the left actually first i'm gonna move this back because it's way too close say just a little bit further back than where it's currently at Yep, that's good. And then I'm going to try to cover as much on the sides as I can there. So I want to move this. Oh. About there-ish, actually. I'm going to move it a little bit uh, more. And I'm looking at... Let me get the thing clicked again. I'm looking about there. I was going to say selected and clicked at the same time, so I meant to say clicked. And oh, that is not what I wanted to do. There we go. So I want to just slightly, there we go, get that into that center of that uh, spot there. And then we have just one more of these to do and we're done. And that's to cover sort of this wide area over here. In theory, yeah, we could put, actually hang on, that's the front of the island. That's what we've already done. Um, I know I've missed a spot. Hang on, let me just go back and see if I can find where that is. Uh, it's actually to the right. We want to cover a bit in in this area over here. So we're going to take the current one we have selected, hold Alt down, move it over here. And for 7, well, I'm going to move it a bit more. That's a little too much. About there. And then we need to move this back a fair bit so we're not, you know, having the sound come from under the island. This one's a bit tricky to be fair to get in the spot where I'm happy. So we don't want it far too far out, but we don't want it too far in. In fact, I know the number we're going to use is 2770, so I'm just going to set it there. And the reason for that is it covers that area of the island, so we're getting the sound at the top there without it actually coming from inside of the island. All right, well, that was probably painful and boring for all of you, but now we have immersive sound on our island. So if we hit play now and just wait for it to load, we have water effects. And as we move farther away, the water effects get softer. 
and still hear it at a distance. It's still faintly paying the background, but I just noticed that OBS isn't able to pick it up at that at that uh, volume. But it's still in there in the background. So we'll be adding in more ambient noise and sounds as we go forward. That said, that takes us through what we need to do for today's tutorial. And we will start moving on to our optimization of our project. Talk a little bit about MIP maps, and then we'll move on to our fog and god rays and finish out with our lighting. All of that said, this video has been brought to you by Patreon sponsors like Rian, Hanas, Galois, One Volt 10, Connor, and Quad Menson. If you want to be here when we start working on the optimization, cleaning up the project a bit, getting rid of some of the plugins we don't need, make sure to hit that subscribe and notify icon. If you've enjoyed making your island feel a little bit more immersive, make sure to hit the um, notify bell or subscribe and notify bell so you know when the next tutorial is out. I think I said that already. I mean, if you've enjoyed working on this, hit the like button. Sorry, I'm slightly uh, checked during my outro, it seems. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.